Welcome to Exifying, guys. How are we doing? It's currently day four of the game being out. I know everybody's dropping their videos on shit. I work full time, man. I haven't got a chance to drop a video yet. I'm be honest. I have been streaming it though. Make sure you follow the stream. I've been loving this game so far, man. I'm be honest, bro. I was watching Jeb's video too. He was talking about how nobody like votes in the lobby. I'm literally just playing this right now, and I just noticed the voting for the maps on the right side of the screen. I don't know why my vote's not counting though. That's crazy. Because when, when he said that, I don't know what he was talking about. I'm like, yeah, there's map voting, but I'm like, I never fucking voted. I haven't been voting for maps either. But I look, I was like, oh shit, it's over there. I never realized. Bro, it's been so long, man, since I had a game that I wake up every single day and want to play. <laughs> like, I'm at work and I'm like, man, I can't wait to get off to play. Yeah, I feel like I should have that kill right there. I get off the game every day and I want to get back on it. I wake up every morning, I immediately think of, I want to get on play next to find, but I can't because I got to work. I think like Naraka Blade Point was probably like the last time that I was excited to play a game. When that game at first ever came out, like having that same feeling, just be excited to get on and play. And that was years ago. That didn't last long because, you know, because it really wasn't FPS and it was a VR, you know, that's not my full. I should, that's not my, that's not my bag, bro. VR is not my bag. So much as I love that VR and that's the game that actually made me give VRs a chance, it didn't last long. I know it's the honeymoon stage, but I gotta say, man, I just really, I'm really enjoying x man. The game just feels so good to me. It feels even better than it felt in like, every playtest and i know it should like obviously because you know this is the more this is the full release but i just think the game feels great i see some people talking about how it feels kind of clunky right it feels kind of clunky and shit but i don't know man it just feel like butter to me bro like, i'm loving this like and I, I feel like if it feels clunky to you you just have to like give it a chance and actually just get used to how the game feels i'm one of those people who like i think cod has like the best engine of any fps it's just the call of duty engine like no matter the game it just feels so smooth it just feels like you have so much like movement and shit like that but still like i'm king of if the game feels clunky or a game has bad controls i can't do it man i cannot fucking do that shit Right, and this one, it don't feel like that to me. Like this is so, this is like more than tolerable. More than tolerable. Like, this ain't an issue for me at all. And I saw like Mark Rubin, um, I think tweet, or maybe he replied, he, maybe he replied to somebody's tweet or something. And he was like, instead of just fucking with your setting so much, pick something and just play the game and get used to how it feels. That's the best way. Adjust your settings to a point where like, okay, I can, I can fuck with this. You know, this is good. This is good and shit good enough and just play the game you're not gonna get to feel exactly like call of duty just get used to the game and play it a few times i don't think it's clunky as everybody's saying i think a lot of those are cod players who are just so used to cod at this point but i think the game feels great and you could really get active with the movement and shit i like it's very fast paced i feel like some people have like jetpacks on sometimes i'll be honest sometimes on the sweaty ass lobbies you'll be getting in people will be like flying at me and shit jumping off shit and like flying I'm like what the fuck was aw or some shit anyway speaking of sweaty oh, it's so great not having skill based matchmaking i'm getting shit on now what the fuck 1911 not too bad so far no skill based matchmaking is amazing sometimes you get a lobby that's like full of a bunch of sweats and then other times you get ones of just like you're just shitting on them right and i feel like that's how it should be bro that's how how pubs should be yeah you know, that's how pubs should be you should be able it should be just a mixed bag you never know who you're gonna get you get to gauge your skill level where you're at as a player you know like i feel like and it just it just feels good like there's times i'm just getting shit on right and there's times i'm just like running kids right some people are saying oh man i'm still getting any sweaty lobbies man i can't even ssbm is in this game man and bitching and complaining i am be honest if you're struggling in these lobbies you just might not be the guy you thought you were man i'm sorry like who's gonna tell them look at us that was a bad aim right there. Yo, sometimes, I swear sometimes, like, I be snapping on fools, and other times, my aim goes all over the place. Like, I'm still adjusting to the game. The game's, like, aim assist and shit. You just might not be that guy. But it does make a difference. And there's only skill-based matchmaking and a welcome playlist. To me, that makes sense. Because if you're new to the game, that's a perfect reason to have skill-based matchmaking. So I honestly like that. So I only played the welcome playlist for, like, a little bit, and then I immediately just went to just making custom playlists. Um, another thing I see people uh, complaining about or talking about a lot, not having any kill streaks or anything like that. And I'm a, like, in my opinion, I don't think the game needs kill streaks, but I do feel like there should be some reward. There definitely should be some reward for going on streaks like that, because it's so easy to go get high kill games and go on like 
um, kill streaks in this game. So I feel like there should be some reward. But with me personally, I just don't think we need like kill streaks like choppers and chopper gunners or AC-130 or the COD S kill streaks. Maybe some sort of like NW3, like OG NW3 specialist type vibes. Like maybe that's something they could do. But I don't know. I don't think I want like traditional ass kill streaks in this game, man. And I do like COD kill streaks too. They would be fun in this. The way you could farm kids in certain lobbies and type shit. But now that I notice this, this up here, oh shit, I'm just keep voting. Why are none of my votes counting? Am I, am I, am I moron? Currently, I'm only level 22. I've only getting to play after work so far. Like, it's the first weekend I have with the game. I'll be streaming, like, probably all day Saturday and Memorial Day. So again, follow the stream. I'll be streaming on TikTok. Maybe switch over to Kick. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I just, I'm not sure how I feel about the kill streak, kill streak thing. There should be something, definitely, but I don't think it should be the traditional type kill streaks that COD has. And can we talk about that, too? Like, there's a lot of, like, people hating on X Defiant and shit. Like, I just don't understand. And a lot of them are COD kids. But again, if you don't like X Defiant, you could just not play it. You could just not play it and where the hell does this guy go if you don't want to play x defiant man don't play it this game's not going to be for everybody and the thing is like it's a free to play game you didn't drop 70 <laughs> you didn't drop like 70 dollars on it like call of duty like they're not scamming your ass man like <laughs> you could just not play the game i understand if you generally just the game's not for you you're not vibing with it that's fine there's nothing wrong with that it's a weird people who just want we like want the game to fail and shit it just makes no sense to me the competition is a good thing i don't understand why people don't i don't understand why people like just like oh my god my aim went everywhere I, I just don't understand like people that who want this game to fail we're using cod too much as a comparison instead of looking at it as its own game Th this game could stand on its own two feet both could coexist this is not killing cod i said that in my i think first video back cod is too big to die i don't want cod to die and cod's not gonna die to be honest it's way too big like i said and i'm still a huge call of duty fan like i'll still play play black ops 6 probably when it comes out but i'll be honest with you i love x defiant that motherfucker got shit on <laughs> like i feel like this is a great game I honestly cannot wait for rank to come out to be honest and if you're bored of like nw3 like this is a perfect game to hold you over i feel like both games could coexist man that's how like val and cs could coexist we could have x defiant cod to coexist. i'm glad we have a arcade shooter i'm glad we have like a good arena arcade shooter again some people don't like the abilities either but like to be honest that's like i feel like that's his preference at this point like i said i wasn't abilities guy but you know they're not that bad in this game they don't bother me i kind of wish it was kill cams to be honest there's certain times i die which i wish i i, I just wish that was a kill cam uh, some people don't realize though like kill cams are actually a lot Ooh. oh i couldn't get that three piece right there i heard kill cams are like pretty hard to program in, in games more than you would think but i would love this kill cam this game man i mean also i, I think the anti-cheat's been working pretty well as far as i heard i haven't ran into any hackers yet either that i know of i think the big complaint right now is like the hit reg is kind of kind of weird and shit they dropped a patch today um i don't think i played enough to like realize it because i'm be honest that shit hasn't really been bothering me too much like i haven't noticed it like sometimes he's like you get hit uh, shot around corners and shit but i was watching a decoys video he was saying we're not realizing that you could actually wall bang a few things and there's no wall bang icon to let you know you actually like could shoot through a wall so people think they're getting shot around corners we're just really just getting wall bang i didn't realize you could wall bang in this game for a little bit either that would make a lot of sense oh my god god damn it bro <laughs> I'm definitely still just in this game, man. I think I can get really good at X Defiant personally, but it always takes me a little longer to get like like pretty good at pretty good at FPS gaming, right? Not not too long, but like get into a nice flow. Once I learn to spawn, have my game sense develop and all that, that all that shit. I'm a grower, not a shower type shit. Another uh thing I heard people talking about was like I think it he, they were saying it takes too long to level the guns, right? And I honestly don't see it as a problem because I was just thinking in terms of like, this is a free to play game. We're so used to being able to like get on a camel grind and level leveling the shit out of our guns in Call of Duty because the new game comes out every year. This is like a free to play game. I feel like taking a little longer to level up the guns and shit isn't such a bad thing, to be honest. That's just me though. Level 100 for a gun is kind of crazy, I feel like. But at the same time, like I said, it's not impossible. Some people have their guns gold already. And it's double XP weekend today, uh, this weekend too, or the start of it today. But we'll see how the, how the game develops. Ooh, oh shit. I don't think they should adjust it. Like I said, it's a free-to-play game. The game's supposed to go on way longer, so I think it's okay if the leveling system takes a little long. But me so far, though, like, I really just wish there were kill cams so far. That's my only thing great with the game so far. Like I said, I, I know it's still, like, the honeymoon phase for some of us, you know, who are really enjoying the game. But I really think I could just see me playing this game for a while, man. Like, I could grind this game. Like, like I love playing it. I look forward to it. Ah, oh, fuck. I definitely gotta learn learn how to use my abilities. Like I, I mentioned that in my last video. Like I'm not an abilities guy usually. I gotta remember like I have this shit, bro. I gotta remember I have this shit. I always forget I have it. Yo, 
You could you could definitely get active in this game too. So I don't know what people are talking about. It's like it, like I love I love the pace of this game. I definitely want to snipe more, but I haven't committed to it, bro, yet because it still feels kind of weird to me. But I definitely gotta commit more to sniping and, gr and grind a little more with the sniper. I still haven't used all the guns in the game yet. I've been kind of just working on this AK to level it up. I used the MP7 is pretty good, the ACR, the M4. I, I gotta play a lot more with the guns this weekend. Also, like last thing, I feel like every kill feels satisfying and every kill makes sense to me. Like when I get shit on, it was fair. Or if I shit on somebody, it feels fair to me. I never feel like a kill or a death is bullshit for the most part. Obviously, you have those iffy kills here and there, but that's what everything. But like most of the time, I don't feel like I'm getting bullshitted constantly. Like I said, I'm loving the game. But let me know how you guys are feeling about Xify down in the comments below give me all your first initial thoughts any issues things you love about it just, just talk to me bro i want to have a conversation with you guys do you think there should be kill streaks in the game are you loving the fact there's no skill-based matchmaking let me know gang if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one later